you're the type of irritant that uh, <laughs> produces progress in, in our world. Yeah, and havoc in our homes. I'm a pretty sad excuse for a son-in-law. I wouldn't have anyone else in the world. <laughs> Howie, we've never had a son. You're gonna be it. Do you mean that, Mr. Sims? Dad. Dad! <laughs> now you unpack that suitcase. Barbara. I'm proud of you. You handled that like a real father. The boy's got good stuff in him. You know, Edith, I think he really is a genius. And that's almost as nice as having a millionaire in the family. As long as I don't have to live with him. <laughs> Tomorrow we'll help them find a nice apartment of their own. I am going to be a father of that boy. I'll have him down to the office for lunch, and we can have him here to dinner once a month. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hi, Bob. What? Bob Wilson's caller to thank me for sending Howie to him. I knew he'd be an asset to the organization. Well, Howie's only been on the job one day. And he's come up with the reorganization plan that the board of directors thinks is brilliant. Oh, that's your son-in-law. That's my son-in-law. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello, B Bob. Bob. Uh, uh, up on. Why? How he made up a list of people at the office who could be replaced by machines. <laughs> Wilson's name was first on the list. <laughs> and do you who, whose name how he put second? His own. <laughs> He's fired. Well, then he'll just have to stay here with us until he finds another job. Oh, that could be years. How he be living with us for years. And Edith, he wants babies. <laughs> fertility symbol up there. He wants a dozen babies. I can see them. All grown up like Howie. Howie's playing the oboe. Home sweet home. <laughs>